the animal kingdom has evolved and survived on earth since billions of years ago. There are about 1.3 million species of animals on earth today. About 96% are invertebrates, which are animals without backbone. The remaining members of animal kingdom are the mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish and insects. Hello children, how are you today? Thank you for watching ITTV. In the previous lesson, we learned about the basic need of humans. In today's lesson, we would learn about the basic need of animals, which are food, water, air and shelter. Like humans, animals cannot make their own food, but they need to eat in order to survive. They consume food from the environment. Some animals feed on other animals. For example, the lion. Did you know that a lion requires up to 7 kilograms of meat daily? They feed on large mammals like the buffaloes. Some of them feed on plants and they are called the herbivores, for example, the cow. While the rest feed on both animals and plants and they are called omnivores. Examples of omnivores are chickens and bears. Me and you being the children at home are all humans and humans are also omnivores. Animals need food to grow and stay healthy. They also need food to provide them with energy. For example, a deer needs energy to run away from the enemy. A fish needs energy to swim. In a four-season country, the birds need energy to fly to warmer places as winter approaches to find new food and shelter. Water is needed by all animals. Animals can find water in lakes, ponds and rivers. During the dry seasons, animals travel to places where they can find water. Remember children that in the previous lesson, which was the basic need of humans, we recalled that water is also used to maintain the body temperature and to break down nutrients and carry them to other body parts. Animals also have the same function for water. Look around us, there is air everywhere. So we humans and animals need air to survive. But humans use lungs to breathe. What about animals? Your pets at home, the cats and dogs, use lungs to breathe like us humans. What about the beautiful butterfly which used to be a caterpillar? The caterpillar uses spiracles to breathe. Do you like frogs? The frogs have got moist, slippery skin and they breathe through them. What about the fishes in the sea? They use gills to breathe. The air has got oxygen. Animal uses this oxygen and releases carbon dioxide just like humans in the process of breathing. Animals would die if they do not have air. Shelter is important to animals as shelter protects them from the extreme weathers like rain, hot and cold. Shelter also protects the animal from predators. Different animals live in different places. Some live on land like the mighty elephant. Some live in water like the fishes. Some live both in land and water like the crocodiles. What about us humans? We have beautiful modern houses of course. Well, let's have a look at a few shelter for our beloved animals. Hamster in cages, bird in nests, worms in soil, bears in caves, 
lastly fishes in the beautiful coral reefs. As you can see children, animals also need shelter like the humans to protect themselves from extreme weathers and dangerous things. The following is an experiment and the steps to prove what are the basic needs of animals. These experiments will prove to you that animals need air to survive. Shall we do the experiment? The goal of the experiment is to find out if air is the basic need of animals. Now, let's have a look at the variables. The constant variable in this experiment is the presence of food. The manipulated variable being the presence of air. Lastly, the responding variable is the ability of the animal to survive. What are the materials and apparatus needed for this experiment? We need two plastics, two grasshoppers and leaves which are food for the grasshoppers. How do we do this experiment? We have got two plastics. The first plastic is named A and the second plastic is named B. In plastic A, they are with holes, a grasshopper and leaves in them. Plastic B is without holes, a grasshopper and leaves as food for the grasshopper. What do we do with plastic A and B? We leave them for a day and observe what happens to the grasshopper. Now, after a day, the grasshopper in plastic A would live. But the grasshopper in plastic B would sadly be dead. As a conclusion for the exercise, we can conclude that animals need air to survive. The grasshopper in plastic B did not have the air to breathe, so they did not have oxygen. That is the reason the grasshopper in plastic B is found dead at the end of the day. Now students, I hope from the beginning of the lesson till now you have understood what are the basic needs of animal. So to polish this knowledge, let us do a few exercises, shall we? Question 1. Which of the following are basic needs of animals? 1. Air 2. Sunlight 3. Water and 4. Food Now children, the basic need of animals, recall, is sunlight one of the basic needs of animals? Why do animals need air? Do animals need water? Let's have a look at the answer. The correct answer is C, 1, 3 and 4 being air water and food. Like humans, animals do not need sunlight to survive. Let's go to the next exercise, shall we? Question 2. Why do animals need air? A. To breathe. B. To help them grow. C. To protect them from danger. And D. To stay alive. So children, to breathe is to use the oxygen in the air to help them grow what helps the animal grow food of course to protect them from danger being C hmm wonder shelter of course to stay alive to stay alive animal needs all the basic needs so the correct answer would be A to breathe animal needs air Breathe. Let's look at the third question, shall we? How do frogs breathe? A. By using spiracles. B. With their skin. C. With lungs. And D. Using gills. Now children, recall. Animals have various ways of breathing by using lungs, spiracles, gills and skin. What do you think? How do frogs breathe? 
Remember, they have got moist and slippery skin. Let's see what's the answer. The answer is of course B, by using their skin. Now children, I'm sure that throughout the lesson, you came by some difficult words. So, shall we look at the vocabulary for the day to know what these difficult words stand for? Let's look at the first word. Basic needs. Keperluan asas. What are the basic needs for animals? It is food, water, air and shelter. The next word. Breath. Nafas. Breathe. Pranafas. What is breathe? Breathe is the process of inhalation and exhalation. Animals breathe in different ways. Shall we look at the next vocabulary? Movement being pagarakan. Animals have different movements. For example, the millipedes crawl. Your cats and dogs run for yachts. The beautiful fishes in the sea swim using their fins. Shelter, tempat perlindungan. Now, different animals live in different shelters. Recall, bass live in caves, fish live in water, animals live in different shelters. The next vocabulary, air, udara. What do we have? In air, we have got different types of gases, for example, the oxygen, the carbon dioxide, and the nitrogen. Cave, gua. Cave is a shelter for the animals. Many different types of animals live in caves, for example, the bear, snakes, and pets. Cage, sankar. Cage, who lives in cage? Now, of course, the birds. Alive, hit up. You being the children at home, me being your tutor. Plants, animals are all alive. Let's look at the next segment for the lesson, shall we? Let's learn some important facts of the day by seeing the trivia. Why do fishes die if taken out of water? I'm sure all of y'all have got pets, fish being one of them. Have you tried removing them from the water? Let's see what happens to them. Like all animals, fish needs oxygen to live. Unlike land living on animals, fish can only absorb the oxygen from the water. When a fish is removed from the water, it is removed from the source of oxygen. The fish soon dies if not put back. Fish gulps in water through their mouth, forcing it through their thin gills which is attached by the side of the head. The water keeps flowing over the gills, bringing fresh oxygen to breathe for the fish. That is why, children, if you have a pet fish, do not remove them from the water because they are going to die. Let's look at the next trivia, shall we? How did sea creatures become land creatures? Now, this is something to do with evolution. Let's see what it says. Some sea creatures become land creatures because they need a better environment to survive and thrive. For the first billion years of life on Earth, the only creatures were to be found in the sea. Then, when conditions were right, plants and insects began to live on the land. Those sea creatures, finding it difficult to protect themselves and their youngs and to find food, soon venture to the land from the sea. These were the first amphibians, creatures who could live in the sea or on the land. Eventually, these creatures adapted to living on lands all the time and grew feathers of furs instead of scales. 
steal weird and mysterious sea creatures deep into the blue sea that we humans have still not explored. Students, that's all for today. So, before I end, I would like to do a quick recap of the lesson today. In today's lesson, we've learned about the basic need of animals. The basic need of animals are food, water, air, and shelter. Like humans, food is used to grow and for energy. Water is used to maintain the body temperature and to carry nutrients to all the bodily parts of the animal. Like humans, animals also use air, which is the oxygen in the air, to breathe and shelter to protect themselves from dangers, especially the wildlife, the predators. Now, thank you for watching ITTV. See you soon in our next lesson. Bye-bye, children. Thank you.